in my bullet journal. Let's just figure out what happens. Because I never know what I'm doing whenever I start. And then I look at inspo and then I'm like, okay. Now I know what I'm doing. But I have all the stuff. Washi tape, markers, sticky notes, stickers. The whole shebang. So I started out my May 2020 bullet journal setup with this monthly log right here. I did some flower doodles. And I got the idea for the spread from Ono Nina on YouTube. But I like how it turned out. It took forever to get the spacing right because I was just freehanding it. I wasn't using a ruler to count things out and my brain hurt by the end of it. But it turned out like okay for the fact that I was using a ruler. This took quite a while but I wrote out all the numbers as neatly as I possibly could and then I have an area for goals on the side because we all need to have goals in the month, you know, help keep us going. Next up, we have my habit tracker. I haven't done it with this layout before with the boxes, so hopefully I like it because it took a long time to write out all these things. And again, I was just freehanding it and wasn't using a ruler. So I like recommend doing it, I think, because I like how it looks and I'm more likely to fill it out if I like how it looks, but I haven't actually completed them, so I don't know if I actually do like them. I just said actually five million times and that few, those few sentences. <laughs> Some of the habits that I wanted to work on were things like how I start my morning and limiting my screen time, but you could do whatever you want for this. And then on the right hand of this page, I have a brain dump. You can literally write out anything in a brain dump, hence why it's called the brain dump. You just dump your brain onto it. Anything. Every month I like to have a gratitude log and a memory log. On my gratitude log, I like to try to keep it like different every single day so that it's not too repetitive. And then memories, like duh, you just want to remember those things and look back on them because you're going to most likely forget. Um, so I did quite a bit off camera, but this is what I did. This is tracking my mood, stress, and sleep. And then this is tracking what exercise I do and what I eat. And then I wrote out my ideal morning and night routine, and that's it. If you want to see how I do like weekly plans or even daily plans, let me know, and I will do them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Mm -hmm.